Hey, welcome to Atkins Diet. My name is, of course, Kent Altena, and we're going to be doing a product review this week about diet soda. If you know my history, you know that before I did Atkins, I was an extremely um, diet um, soda fanatic. I was drinking about four liters per day, and for the first year of which I was on the diet, as I actually was losing the weight, I gave up diet soda altogether. However, as I got to maintenance, and I decided I'd bring soda back into my diet. Well, I went from a, being a Diet Dew fanatic to going to more of a Diet Cola. So I looked at long and hard at all the various different um, sodas on the market that were uh, sweetened with sucralose, and I think I've come up with the wide breadth of what my favorites are and my reviews upon all the other ones. And of course, my favorite is um, Diet Cola. Diet Coke with Splenda. And, you know, I have this before every single one of my marathons and is my marathon finishing uh, drink of choice. And to me, this just tastes like what Diet Cola should. It has a nice bite to it, has enough caffeine in it, and, you know what, it tastes pretty good. So, Pe Diet Pepsi also has one called Diet Pepsi One that's sweetened with sucralose as well. But that's pretty weak. It has more of a tab type flavor. It really just doesn't have the same bite as the Diet Coke did. And, you know, out of five stars, I'd give it about a three. Now, there's also some store brands, such as my local Hy-V brand that is also sweetened with um, sucralose. And the thing that it has going for it is that those are typically much, much cheaper than, say, the name brands. You can find a store brand for, say, 10 to 15 cents a can, which to me has just been is good but on a day-to-day -day basis I'm gonna be drinking for the for the taste not necessarily for the cheapness and if I'm only having two to three to stay within my daily intake you know I'll, I'll pay the extra 10 cents or 15 cents to get the good stuff now as with anything there's the good ones on the market and then there's the ones that I would urge you to stay away from this one I had the displeasure of having today. This is Zevia and this one is sweetened with Stevia and it was supposed to be the first one of the uh, on the market that had the um, uh, Rebana or the Stevia extract being used for its sweetener and you know what it just does not taste very good. You can vary the, the herbal As with using any stevia extract, uh, the first um, complaints that most people had was the aftertaste is somewhat bitter. And you know what, this thing has that same aftertaste um, coming out of it. On top of that somewhat off-putting um, herbal or bitter stevia aftertaste, it also has nutmeg in its ingredients and that nutmeg oil really comes through as well. So you get that um, it's not what I would classify as a true cola flavor coming out of it. And finally, my worst sucralose flavored um, ones, one that I will never ever have again, is the Diet Hansen um, sweetened pop. I'll put an image over there so you know what to stay away from. You know, Diet Hansen or Hansen soda actually has a number of good diet um, drinks. I kind of like the root beer um, from time to time. But their cola is, is marketed as an old-fashioned cola. And seems to me that people in the past, if they were drinking cola that tasted like that, cola would have gone by the wayside a long time ago. It was flavored with things like cinnamon and nutmeg. And basically, it was drinking um, similar to pumpkin pie spice in a bottle. To me, that doesn't say cola. That says someone was, was having a bad acid trip and decided to put some crazy stuff into their soda mixture and, and try to pass it off as cola. So I hope this reaches everyone in great health. I'll talk to you guys later. And if you're wondering why this video is in a lower quality than some of my other ones, it's my, because my main um, computer has busted and I have to encode this on, a much, um, on my laptop instead of my um, more powerful desktop. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.